Hi guys, this is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken. Anyway, I'm out in the garden and I have this really nice sweet potato slip I thought I would try to plant today. And um, it's a cloudy sky and I think it just tr started to try to sprinkle on me. It's definitely sprinkling. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day other than that. A little cloudy sky and little water drops never bothered me. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I'm doing. I am uh, going to try to plant this sweet potato slip. It is a pretty big slip and it has some really nice roots on it. I took this one directly off the sweet potato and it already had the roots on it. And uh, while I was digging around, I found a couple of acorns. Look at this. And uh, has some roots on it. So I'm going to try to find a place to plant those. And these are all over the yard, these little pine trees. I wish I, I would, it would be cool to plant some pine trees. I don't know where I'm going to put them. But later, I might like to have some pine trees in some locations. Anyway, I uh, planted my jalapeno here and my other jalapeno at the other end. And uh, I'm probably going to put some seeds here in the middle. I'm not going to go all the way out since I already have two established jalapenos. And then this is my habaneros that I just planted. And everything else in here is a habanero. There was one stray habanero here. And I moved it over there. I really would have loved to make this line straight. Because there's one here and there's one here. I try to make this one... Um, equal to this I just hate to dig that up and because it's growing so well I don't want to move it since it's growing so well anyway I've just been uh, piddling out here today here is the other sweet potato slip that I planted before and um, here is um, my tomato plant and then this is one of those acorns and there's a little tree growing there and then I have another one right here and um, I'd like to move it later I just don't have a place to put it and I don't want it to die and then there's another one so yeah then here are my um, bell peppers oh look that little whole section I lost that flower anyway so I don't really know what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to keep those or not. I'm just waiting for that, for these to be done so I can take the seeds. But uh, here is my pot. It is full of dirt. I took this dirt out of another pot, out of this pot right here, and I'm just cleaning this pot now. Anyway, so the dirt came out of that pot, and it had my jalapenos in it. Uh, I turned it upside down into this pot and I stuck a hole in the center. That's where I'm going to put my sweet potato slip. And uh, so, yeah. So, at least I'll have two sweet potato slips growing. This pot here is almost full of dirt. And that one down there still needs a little more dirt. But that's all I had and I wanted to get started. Anyway, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Anyway, so, yeah. Let's, that's all I'm really going to do. Walk over here and get that sweet potato slip and slip it in that hole. <laughs> so, and it is nice and long. I was uh, working in the kitchen and I seen how many, the thing, my sweet potato in there is just full of things. So I started to pull them off and put them in water. And I seen this one, I'm like, oh wow, that one already has all the roots on it. So I said I would come right out and plant it. And I already got my hole ready and I'm just going to stick it inside the hole. Maybe I'll make the hole a little bigger so that the roots have a little room to move around. I meant so they all, won't all be, you know. All right, I'll be right back. I left out loud, so I made the hole much bigger. And uh, then I'm gonna just spread the, uh, must spread the roots out. Oh, 
Okay, I'd love to show you, but I couldn't hold it up. <laughs> so I went ahead and uh, just put the dirt around it, and we'll see what happens. Since this one already had the roots on it, I'm hoping that it'll do really well. Anyway, it's planted pretty good. And uh, the soil at the bottom was already moist, which is now the top, and the bottom is theoretically dry. But yeah, so I can't wait to see what I'm going, what's going to happen with those. I know it'll take all season to get the sweet potatoes finished growing, but you know, here I am. <laughs> at least at the end of the season, maybe I'll have some, uh, here's the other one. Maybe I'll have some sweet potatoes. And it is definitely sprinkling pretty good now. Anyway, that's why it's so dark. It's not really that late in the day. However, I might just post this tonight when I go in, but got some nice tomatoes all over this. Lots of little flowers everywhere. Anyway. I'm working on it. I've definitely spent a lot of time outside this week and I've moved my mint over here. I'm not going to leave it here because uh, Stevie will um, tear it up. Oh, hey, baby. There's Rocky. She's a good girl. She don't touch nothing. <laughs> anyway, I need to go ahead and get my labels put on here so I can move these. I know it's I know it'll be a while before they start peeking up from the surface, but I'm excited. I hope I have a good season. Maybe I can grow some pine trees and some of these uh, trees that make these things. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is for the barnyard chickens and all my love and my hugs. I just wanted to show off my little sweet potato slip and um, yeah, so I'm out of here. This is Lisa sending all my love and my hugs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And me and Rocky, I'll see you next time. Hey, say something. Yeah? Goodness. <laughs> she don't like to be on camera.